Mobile communications is transforming lives across the world and Huawei technologies are at the heart of the arrival of LTE networks and the innovation they inspire. Here in Hong Kong this week, the company is unveiling the future of mobile broadband at its sixth and largest ever global mobile broadband forum. Here, Huawei is showcasing the roads to Mobile Broadband 2020, which ultimately will contribute to a growth of opportunities for a better connected world. This year's event is designed to encourage thoughtful discussions and the sharing of views to help shape the future, vision, connectivity and innovation of mobile broadband. The opening day was dedicated to discussions around the future mobile broadband networks in 2020 and began with a major keynote speech from Huawei's current rotating CEO, Ken Hu. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Hong Kong. He set the agenda and vision for 2020. He welcomed the audience of more than 800 delegates, including some of the world's largest mobile operators, industry leaders and policy makers from both the telecoms industry and verticals like internet service providers, financial services, media services and manufacturers. He noted that this year the industry has seen significant development and innovative progress sparked by the increased consumer use of mobile devices. He also said that the global data consumption and the demand for mobile connectivity are at an all-time high and that many factors are combining to create new opportunities which, in turn, will bring a need for further technology innovations, new business models, IoT standards and cross-industry collaboration for the future transformation that needs to happen to unlock these opportunities. According to WHO, ICT will be the prime enabler for this transformation while the mobile broadband network will be the ultimate enabler as we move forward. Well, for us in PCCW, the, uh, the main event of the uh, MBBF is really to see okay, the, what the uh, industry is moving on and uh, what you know, we're going to benefit for the end user and uh, what kind of new brand brand and smart, uh, smart solutions we can bring uh, to the market. Throughout the rest of the day, presentations including a progress update on the eagerly awaited 5G network and the driving forces for mobile broadband 2020 through digital video and the emergence of cellular IoT. Companies that presented during the day included GSMA, Telefonica, CNN, Time, Google, China Mobile International, Vodafone, 5G Forum Korea, Bosch, Philips and Visa. One of the highlights of this year's event is the exhibition area, where together with vertical industry partners, Huawei's innovative solutions are providing attendees with first-hand demonstrations in the largest exhibition ever assembled in the history of the event. Here some of the hottest trends in the industry are being showcased, including 4.5G applications, 5G innovation, narrowband internet of things and MBB network evolution. As the conference drew to a close, Huawei hosted a spectacular gala dinner at the Sky 100 Hong Kong Observation Deck, located on the 100th floor of the International Commerce Centre. From one of the tallest buildings in Hong Kong, Huawei's honoured guests were able to enjoy exquisite culinary delights and entertainment, while taking in a stunning 360-degree view of Hong Kong's fascinating skyline of famous Victoria Harbour. The well, MBB Forum is important for developing new markets. A lot of our customers we serve them, we provide them the solution, but yet we need to help them to expand their markets. So MBB Forum has been one of our most important platform to develop that business and develop the overall ecosystem for our customers. Day 2 opened with presentations on LTE network development of 4.5G, which is Huawei's answer to faster and more efficient networks. This featured representatives from TELUS, P4, SoftBank and Bell Canada. A panel discussion on the same topic was also took place before the third and final keynote was delivered by David Wang, who concluded the event with a summary of the innovation, collaboration and business model overhaul that needs to happen in order to open the road to Huawei's mobile broadband 2020 vision. The MBB Forum is, uh, is very important for us. It's been a great opportunity to meet with our technology companies, to find partners for collaboration and, and further develop our product. For the afternoon, the delegates split into groups to take part in four different industry summit discussions, providing attendees with a chance to interact directly with industry experts. The first of these focused on 5G, the second on MBB network development, and the third on MBB architecture evolution, and the fourth on narrowband IET. The stimulating discussions certainly provided the groundwork for our future mobile broadband networks and there is no doubt that when implementing the technologies required to enable these, Huawei will play a key role. This was reinforced by the third and final day of the forum which provided an exclusive insight into what Huawei has already achieved with delegates being invited to see first-hand Huawei technology in action. 
The visits included tours of the HKT and Hutchinson Telecom facilities, who are both keen to showcase the positive impact Huawei technology has had on their network, and more importantly, the improved service it has enabled them to deliver to their customers. Playing host to thought-provoking debates on wireless network communications, the last three days have seen Huawei's Global Mobile Broadband Forum provide a platform for industry leaders and for the first time many vertical markets. Their strengths and opinions have been leveraged to shape the future of a better connected world. And having spent the last few days in this inspiring environment, we have no doubt that everyone here has enjoyed the whole experience to the fullest and that we are well on the way to enabling the ultimate mobile broadband experience. Yeah.